In this video, we will write and solve systems of linear equations from word problems using standard form. In this set of notes, we're going to set up all the problems, but you need to go back and solve by either substitution or elimination. A lot of these problems lend themselves to elimination. Okay, so three steps to word problems with systems. You need to define the variables. You need to identify your quantities and write your let statements. The way we identify those quantities is going to be through annotation of the problems. If you don't already have one, go ahead and stop now and get a highlighter because we're going to be highlighting throughout these problems. And I'm going to check for that when I check your notes. All right, set up equations and solve. We're going to be using that standard form AX plus BY equals C and then solve by elimination or substitution. And then after that, identify your answer. It doesn't have to be 0, 0. It's just going to be in that point format. All right, so the first problem here is the sum of two numbers is 30, and their difference is 12. Find the two numbers. So notice I read through the problem once, just to get a gist of what the problem is talking about. Now I'm going to go back and read it again. The sum of the two numbers is 30. So I know that sum means to add together. So when I add the two numbers together, it's going to equal 30. 30 is our total number. And their difference is 12, so I'm highlighting the difference is 12. I'm also going to highlight what, I'm at, what it's asking for, the two quantities, the two numbers. So from the important information here, I can identify the quantities and write my let statements. The quantities that I want is the x going to be the first number and the y going to be the second number. Those are my two quantities that I'm trying to solve for. Now I'm going to use the other information to write the actual equation. I know when I add the two numbers together, it's going to be 30. And when I subtract the two numbers, the answer is going to be 12. I now have my system that I can use to solve for the two numbers. All right, in the second one, read through the problem first. The difference between two numbers is 9. The first number plus twice the other is 27. Find the two numbers. Now go back and highlight the important information. The difference between the two numbers is 9. The first number plus twice the other number is 27. This gives us information about the two equations. What am I trying to find? The two numbers. So finding the two numbers, those are my quantities that I'm trying to find. The first number and the second number. The difference between the two numbers is 9 is the first equation, x minus y equals 9. The first number plus twice the other number means x, because that's our first number, plus twice the other number means 2 times y equals 27. So now I have my system of equations that I could either use substitution or elimination with. This next problem is on your own. I expect to see the problem completely written out and you annotating the problem. Highlight the important information. Write your let statements. That could even be something that you put in the left-hand margin of our Cornell notes. All right, the next problem. The cost of three boxes of envelopes and four boxes of notebook paper is $13.25 two boxes of envelopes, and six boxes of notebook paper cost $17. Find the cost of each. So identify the quantities and write your let statements. What are the two things that we want to find? What are the things that we need to know? We want to know the cost of each type of item here. So we're going to let X be the cost of envelopes because we want to know the cost. We don't need to know the amount. We want to know the cost. So let x be the cost of envelopes and y be the cost of notebook paper. Now let's go back and look at the problem and see what information it gives about both of these things. We know three boxes of envelopes and four boxes of notebook paper 
is a total of $13.25. So all of this information goes together. 3x plus 4y equals $13.25. It's just like when you add those things up on a receipt. Two boxes of envelopes and six boxes of notebook paper cost $17. So 2x plus 6y equals 17. Now you have your system to solve. This next problem is on your own. Remember to annotate the problem. Next we have Gabby and Sydney bought some pens and pencils. Gabby bought four pens and five pencils for $6.71. Sydney bought five pens and three pencils for $7.12. Find the cost of each. So identify your quantities first. Well, is it talking about Gabby and Sydney? Is it talking about pens and pencils? Well, in this last sentence here, it's asking us to find the cost of each, of each pen and each pencil. So we're going to have the cost of pen and the cost of a pencil. And those are our two quantities. Now the other information in the problem will help us set up the equations. Four pens and five pencils cost $6.71. All this information goes together. It's all what Gabby bought. So we have the first equation that represents Gabby. The second equation represents what Sydney bought. Sydney bought five pens and three pencils for $7.12. We now have our system to solve using substitution or elimination. The next problem is on your own. Okay, here we have a garden supply store sells two types of lawn mowers. The smaller mower costs $249.99 and the larger mower costs $329.99. If 30 total mowers were sold and the total sales for a given year was $8,379.70, how many of each type were sold? Okay, so first we need to identify what we're solving for. It says find how many of each type. So each type of what? Well, we have the smaller mower and the larger mower. We already know the cost. We want to know the number of small mowers and the number of larger mowers. We have some other information here about the smaller mower costing $249 and the larger costing $329. It also tells us if 30 to total were sold and the total sales was this, we want to find how many of each. So we have to figure out what information to put together. Well, it makes sense here to put all the costs together. And it also makes sense to put the quantities together. We know that 30 total were sold. So the number of small ones and the number of large ones will equal 30. However many of each one has to total 30. But then we know the smaller mower costs $249.99. The larger is $329.99. So however much that one costs, times the amount, plus however much the larger one costs times the amount, had to equal the total sales. Notice that in each equation, the totals are always our C value. The next problem is on your own. Talking about 100 baseballs. Use the previous example as a template for how we solve this problem as well. Okay, once again, this is an on your own problem talking about children on a field trip. Use the lawnmower example as a template. Okay, this is about movie tickets. Use the lawnmower example as a template. Okay, in this example, we have a collection of dimes and nickels that's worth a total of $3.30. And 
And if there are 42 coins in all, how many of each kind of coins are there? So the quantities we want to solve for, well, we want to know how many of each kind. So we want to know the number of dimes and the number of nickels. We know we have a total of 42 coins. So however many dimes and however many nickels we have, we know that's going to total 42. Now, in addition to this problem, we know the total amount of coins is worth $3.30. So we have to bring in some background knowledge or some common knowledge that we know about dimes and nickels. We know a dime is worth 10 cents and a nickel is worth 5 cents. So the total money for each dime and nickel totals to $3.30. In this last example, we're dealing with nickels and quarters. Use the last example that we just did as a template.